Come on. We are moving right along here at the Flex Magazine workout doing biceps. Trying to get some big arms. See, I know when I first started out doing biceps, it was like, I fell into it because the girls always like big arms and stuff in high school. A lot of guys do that. They have a tendency to overtrain their arms trying to get big for the attention of the females or something. Exactly. I was the same way when I first started training. I was at school and yeah. wearing the school shirt. So I always try to get the school shirt really tight across my arms. So. <laughs> they love the arms. Anyway, what Frank's demonstrating here is the one-arm alternate dumbbell curl. It's just another version of the standing barbell curl, but you can get a little bit more isolated uh, movement here as well as a little more body English. Frank's not swinging it too hard, but that's good. Okay, go ahead. He's gonna grab the heavier stuff. <laughs> you can go pretty heavy in this uh, exercise if you use a little momentum. Yeah, momentum good definitely helps. This, this but that's where the cheat principle comes in, and I'm, I use it quite often on this exercise. And you'll notice how big Lee's arms are. Again, a guy 5'4", 220 pounds, 230 pounds, he's got some big guns. Big guns. How old were you, Frank, when you turned professional? I mean, this guy turned pro at 20 years old. I mean, some guys just barely out of high school at 20. <clears throat> I guess I was about 26, 27. About the average age for the pros, I think, on, on the average is like 27, 28 yeah. years old. So they're getting younger and younger as they get more involved in weight training at younger ages. And I think that accounts for a lot of uh, the, the fantastic development, development guys like Lee get as they get into their 20s. They just start uh, younger. Yeah. Okay. Very good, Lee. <clears throat> That's it. Knock him out. Lee, how much weight do you uh, go up to in this exercise? Normally I stick around the 60 to 70 pounds, but I know on occasion where I go crazy, I've been up to 100 pounds. Wow, it's a lot of weight. Very good, Sean. Now here's where Keep I him cheat. going. Here's where I cheat a little bit. A little swing. That's it. Just packs on the size. Okay, make it out. Very good. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay. Woo! Now, First set, 60 pound dumbbells. I normally don't start with that, but I can't let you come here and kick my butt. Okay. I'm going to do these a little differently, face down on the incline. Okay. By doing them this way, I emphasize the finish of the exercise, right. and it gives me a good piece to the bicep. Working biceps here, he's got a nice little uh, bench to isolate them. He can only use his biceps on this exercise. You Very can't really use anything, course. unless you pull your chest up off the bench. And again, Frank, being the veteran that he is, he's strictly performed, using a weight that he can handle. Uh, that's why you get the emphasis on the bicep. You can't go too heavy in this. No, that's obvious. And if Lee is in the house, he's going to grab the step. Lee will use Show us the traditional way how you do the uh, incline uh, dumbbell curl. How'd you evolve? Did you evolve into that? Is that something you invented? <clears throat> I've never seen that done that way. It takes a lot of stress off the front deltoid. I used to do uh, incline curls like this for many years. Standard it, way. It's so much. It's a great stretch and great for the outer biceps, but it's also a lot of a lot of stress on the front delt. Yeah. And you said you had a shoulder problem. Shoulder right? problems uh, forced me to discontinue this movement and do it the other way. Right. Well, Lee's uh, he's in excellent wow. form. And again, this is only 45 pounds. I know he uses a lot more. He's twisting the wrist at the bottom, twisting and contracting at the top. A lot of uh, brachioradialis work on that. Well, Lower you see bicep. the forearms too. It's far oh, phenomenal. Sensational arms. Right, I'm gonna try to keep up. <laughs> okay. What's your best weight on this one, Lee? Um, normally probably around the 70 pound, 80. Well, you I'll try and keep it strict. Whereas some people are trying in the gym, training for ego and go too heavy and lose the form. It's always good to. How many reps do you normally do on this? Normally I stick to six to eight reps from there. Contest time, I can go a bit higher. I like high reps myself on biceps. I really start feeling a pump when I get around 10, 12, and even sometimes 15 reps. Definitely. Okay. You ever try high reps on biceps? Um, when I started bodybuilding, I was doing like 50 repetitions. I was training with a guy named John Brown, and he was just trying to murder me during oh, yeah. sets after sets. We did a lot of drop sets, oh. but I've evolved into around the 8 to 12 range. All right, let's do some uh, cable curls. All right, this is also, again, like I said, cables aren't for girls. A lot of guys think the cable exercises are strictly for women. The top pros and the best people use the, uh, the cables. Again, a lot of the top bodybuilders use it pre-contest because they're trying to pack on the mass by using the free weights. This is going to help you as far as uh, uh, adding the detail into your biceps, keeping the elbows close to your, sh your body. You want to squeeze at the top and stretch at the bottom. Good. One thing I found very helpful is to keep the wrist straight. Keeping the wrist exercise. straight, right. Instead of doing it like that, that takes tension off the bicep, keep the wrist straight. Right. All right. Lee, who was your influence in bodybuilding and how did you get into it? Um, my grandfather used to be a wrestler in the army. So a wrestler. <clears throat> he got me started in Arnold, of course. Arnold, yeah. Got Arnold 
started many people off into bodybuilding. Of course, he's moved on to bigger and better things now, but... I learned a lot about uh, bicep training from Arnold. Yeah. This thing about keeping the wrist straight, for example, is uh, one key thing that I learned from him. Right. Very well, good. We've got we to walk before we can run, and, and luckily for Lee, I mean, he, he found his niche early on, and that's why he's a professional early. A lot of people, they want to be professionals right away, and they want to get up there with the big guys. Okay. you got to put in your put in your time and pay your dues, pay attention to nutrition and rest and recuperation, as well as working hard. Good. I know that in bodybuilding, Lee, um, Frank, Lee, Frank, Frank, um, when you find out what you want to do in life early enough, you can get there a lot faster, whereas a lot of people stumble into bodybuilding later on and it takes them a little longer. You can enjoy it too. Yeah. Take your time and do a good job. Okay. Okay, Sean, let's go. You guys stay with us. We've got a lot more action coming Coming up here at the Flex Workout. Flex Magazine Workout. Squeeze in it. Big ball tip. Here we go. That's it. Good reps.